Hi, can you imagine a bank, a river bank, dam, earth, and so many diverse group of organisms growing in it? For example, worms, plants, algae, you know, reptiles, all different kinds of biodiversity on a bank, something like this. A tangled bank, right? Different kinds of organisms, you know, all growing together in a beautiful system. This kind of tangled bank, how they are actually related? That is my first question to you. How these are related? For example, I can see a snail there, and I can see a rabbit, I can see a butterfly, I can see lots of plant and tree varieties. Are these really connected? Are these actually evolved? Yes, there is a very famous statement from Darwin. Let me read it out for you. It is interesting to contemplate a tangled band clothed with many plants of many kinds, with birds singing on the bushes, with various insects flitting about, and with worms crawling through the damp earth. And to reflect that these elaborately constructed forms, so different from each other, and dependent upon each other is so complex a manner have all been produced by laws acting around us. So this profound statement captures the sense of Darwin's theory of evolution. All organisms, let it be a bacteria and a human being and this plant, we are all related. Related by means of common ancestry. The life sprang out from, you know, a primordial uh, L-U-C-A, last universal common ancestor, billions of years ago, almost four billion years ago. So how do we know how we are related? For example, myself and this particular plant, how are we related with each other? So there is a beautiful field of uh, phylogenetics is now uh, can answer these kind of questions. So phylogenetics, basically phylogenetics is concerned with you know, relatedness, relatedness of the organisms. So, uh, organism A, B, C, and D. This is a very famous image from the notebook of the Darwin himself. So, this the, the field of phylogenetics is concerned. Most of the phylogenetic theories now nowadays concerned with molecular phylogenetics, right? Depend, based upon the DNA sequence information. So, this particular course I will actually explaining to you the fundamentals, the principles of how we generate the trees and what are the, the methods for generating it and how actually uh, plan and execute phylogenetic systematics as well as the plant taxonomy, the, the very basics of the plant taxonomy. This particular course is called Plant Taxonomy and Molecular Systematics. I want to tell you what inspired me to come up with this particular course. I had gone through most of the Indian University syllabus and most of the syllabus on plant taxonomy uh, doesn't have any holistic picture. For example, universities offer course on algology, bryology, you know, or pteridophytes, angiosperm, gymnosperm, but all over a bird's eye view of how these organisms are interrelated in something called tree of life is altogether missing. And more than that, most of these particular syllabus that the Indian universities are following are pretty outdated. Right now, the system is, the current gold standard is Six Kingdom classification of Cavalier Smith, which is not being taught in most of the universities. So to compensate that deficiency, I came up with this particular course. And this course will tell you the current, uh, you know, understanding of the field of plant taxonomy and present you how different plant groups, including algae, pteridophytes, pterodophytes, all these different groups are interrelated through something called tree of life. And also, I'll present you how we perform the studies based upon molecular systematics to enlighten the relatedness of these different groups of plants. I'll give you an overview of my course. So I'll be first telling you about species concepts and, uh, you know, in the, in the plant biology, what are the species, different species concepts that we follow and modes of speciation, different modes of the speciation will be covered. And then we will come up with tree of life and phylogenetic systematics of the plants. So we will be presenting you a whole tree of life including animal, plant, protozoans, fungi and bacteria. The whole thing, the whole picture then we will slowly zoom into the section for the plants, you know, algae and plants. And 
I will exp explain it to you binomial nomenclature in LAND as well as articles of ICN or IAPT which are you know the current standard on the plant taxonomy you know Melbourne Code or IC International Code of Nomenclature so uh, with some case studies we will be explaining to you different articles and how to interpret these articles and what are the common you know problems uh, while interpreting these articles we will be explaining to you and I will also be explaining to you how to identify based upon dichotomous taxonomical identifying keys and how do you preserve botanical sample uh, for taxonomic studies for example how to prepare herbarium vouchers how to preserve the samples for molecular systematics all those things which are totally lacking in current day uh, botanical taxonomy syllabus in most of the university we will be covering this in this particular course how do you describe a new species again that's very very important in a practical point of view how to describe a new species as you know almost 80 percentage of the species in the whole world and in the third world countries and developing countries like in India it is almost 95 percent of the, the species are yet to be described so a lot of biodiversity exists to be discovered and that is open for the taxonomists like you and me so how do you formally describe a new species that I'll be explaining throughout this class and then comes to the Henningian phylogenetics and how the field ever emerged and what are the theory and uh, you know concepts behind the phylogenetics I will be explaining to you then I will also be explaining what the molecular systematics is all about how what are the methods used for the molecular systematics and finally uh, we will be explaining how to design a planned taxonomy or on planned molecular systematic studies experimental design of uh, taxonomic studies so again that is one field that is totally lacking uh, the coverage in uh, most of the syllabi though that field is extremely relevant so the first thing is we will explaining about different species concepts and speciation mechanism then we will actually see that the tree of life the holistic picture of the entire biodiversity of the planet earth then we will zoom into the viridae plantae the birds eye view how these different groups for example green algae, bryophyte, pteridophyte, gymnosperm, angiosperm, monocots, dicots these are related interrelatedness so we will be emphasizing on that particular point rather than uh, you know different uh, families so uh, you know more detailed look on each of these sub, uh, you know, sub taxa we will be giving you an overall uh, idea of it then comes IAPD and ICN articles uh, along with some case studies uh, because this particular group is pertinent to law right these are actually uh, something like law of uh, taxonomy and we will be explaining to you how to use dichotomous plan identifying uh, identification keys as well as how to prepare herbarium voucher as well as how to preserve uh, the samples for molecular systematic studies then I will be explaining to you how to describe a species you know how to describe a new plant species and uh, then we will be coming to the theory and practice of the phylogenetic systematics of Willy Hennig and uh, you know different uh, methods for DNA sequencing and then sequence analysis uh, including uh, you know including alignments consensus sequence generation quantic uh, you know assembly all these things with uh, you know with an emphasis on two software mega and genius will be providing in depth training of these two softwares as part of this particular program how to generate phylogenetic trees and what are the methods different methods for phylogenetic tree generation so we will be covering that in depth as part of this particular program and finally uh, how what are the experimental design of plant molecular systematic studies that includes choosing the target sampling location where to go for sampling for example the students doesn't know exactly how to choose a particular location how to randomize that location as well what are the different sampling methods for taxonomic studies on field measurements how to measure on field preserving the samples for molecular systematic assessment which markers to select for example DNA barcodes there is a number of DNA barcodes right ITS, TRNL, RBCL out of which which one to choose so again that is a technical question to you phylogenetic method selection there are multiple methods for phylogenetic re reconstruction for example Bayesian inference maximum likelihood maximum parsimony 
neighbor joining UPGM, there are a lot of methods. Which method should I choose? You know, which model should I choose? Model of molecular evolution. So all these things I'll be explaining to you. So please go ahead and uh, do register for this particular course. This is only an overview. And uh, this course we'll be offering, uh, you know, in collaboration with Swayam, S-W-A-Y-A-M. It's a new MOOC platform, uh, massive open online course of Ministry of Human Resources and Development Government of India.